embarking on a journey is like opening a beautifully wrapped gift, each destination holding the promise of adventure, culture, and discovery. However, the thrill of exploration can take an unexpected turn when illness decides to join the expedition. The slowness, the lag, the irritation of it all, and all this happening during a trip that you waited for how long? Not a good look. For what it's worth, it's kind of a traveler's rite of passage, facing the challenge of feeling under the weather while miles away from the comfort of your home. But fear not, for in the face of sniffles and sneezes, I have come forth to assist you in the drag with a unique set of tips and tricks ready to turn setbacks into stories and transform all your health hiccups into a resilient chapter of your travel saga. My name is Kashi, AKA Keiko, and this is Travel Essentials. Now we all know how the excitement of a trip can quickly diminish if you find yourself falling ill while away from the comfort of your home. Regardless, things happen and situations come about where we do fall sick unexpectedly. And it is true to note that navigating sickness during a journey requires a different set of considerations and actions. But before we get into that, being aware of common illnesses that travelers may encounter and knowing how to manage them can make a significant difference in ensuring a smooth and enjoyable journey. Here's a guide for four major illnesses you might face while on a trip and how to handle them. Let's go. First is traveler's diarrhea. Oof. Now this is constantly caused by consuming contaminated food or water or exposure to new bacteria. Some symptoms are diarrhea, abdominal cramps, and nausea. Now ways to manage this is to stay hydrated, bottled or purified water, avoid street food and raw or undercooked seafood. Consider carrying an over-the-counter anti-diarrheal medication and a rehydration solution. Now, second off is the common flu and the common cold. Now, this is constantly caused by viral infections spread through respiratory droplets. Symptoms include runny nose, sore throat, cough, and fever. <laughs> Hashtag Christmas. <laughs> Management can be uh, by resting and staying hydrated. Consider OTC cold medications for symptom relief. OTC is over the counter. Uh, practice good hygiene by washing hands frequently and using hand sanitizer, okay? Seek medical attention, of course, if your symptoms persist or worsen. Next off, we have altitude sickness. Now, this is caused by rapid ascent to high altitudes where there is less oxygen, okay? Symptoms can include headaches, nausea, dizziness, and shortness of breath. But you can manage this by acclimating slowly to higher altitudes. Stay hydrated, very importantly. Avoid alcohol if you can, and get rest. OTC medications like azetozamide may also alleviate your symptoms. And of course, descend to lower altitudes if symptoms become severe. And last off, we have mosquito-borne diseases, e.g. malaria, dengue, and Zika. Now, these are caused by infected mosquito bites. Of course, the female Anopheles mosquito riding. Symptoms include fever, joint pains, rashes, and it varies by the diseases, but those are the major symptoms you will find. And you can manage these by using insect repellents or mosquito nets, wear long sleeve clothing, and sleep under the nets, as I mentioned, if and as necessary. Take prescribed anti-malarial medications if traveling to endemic areas, and seek medical attention if symptoms appear. It is important to know that it is very important to be well informed about the human illness that can affect you as the traveler in whatever destination you embark on, as taking preventive measures can significantly enhance your trip's enjoyment. It's essential to prioritize health and be prepared for potential health challenges while on the road. Of course, Always consult with healthcare professionals before your journey and during, and consider obtaining travel insurance that covers medical emergencies. 
with a proactive approach and some basic precautions, you can minimize the impact of common illnesses and focus on the incredible experiences your travels have to offer. Now, we're going to go on a quick break, and when we do come back, we'll get right into the various ways to make it all better during your trip. Don't go anywhere, this is Travel Essentials. Welcome back to the show. You're still tuned on to Travel Essentials right here on Konga TV. Now, before the break, we spoke on four common illnesses that a traveler can experience when they go on a trip to a different country or place. However, we also need to be aware of the various ways we can make sure we are constantly caring for ourselves when and if we do fall sick during a trip. So let's get into some great ways to do this. Let's go. First off, we have prioritizing rest. Listen, sleep, I cannot emphasize it enough. You have to aim for an adequate amount of sleep each night, usually between seven to nine hours for adults. Quality sleep is crucial for physical and mental rejuvenation. You can adjust your activities as well when feeling unwell or fatigued, as it may be necessary to adjust or reschedule your activities to allow for more rest. This could include postponing non-essential tasks, like all that partying, <laughs> reducing workload, or canceling non-urgent commitments. Also, have mindful rest, which makes you engage in activities that promote mental relaxation, such as reading, meditation, or gentle exercise. These practices can help alleviate stress and contribute to an overall well sense of well-being. Next off, we have stay hydrated. Water is your best friend. Opt for plain water as your primary source of dehydration. Put down that bottle. <laughs> it helps replenish fluids lost through symptoms like fever, sweating, and respiratory distress. You can also opt for rehydrating solutions and consider solutions or electrolyte drinks to restore essential minerals such as sodium and potassium, Gatorade for example. These can be particularly beneficial if you're dealing with diarrhea or vomiting. And avoid dehydrating substances. You have to stay clear of alcohol and caffeinated beverages as they contribute heavily to dehydration. These substances may exacerbate the symptoms and hinder your body's recovery process. Next up, we have seek medical assistance. Now, when symptoms persist or worsen or become unmanageable with OTC medications, it's time to consider seeking professional help. Signs such as persistent high fever, severe dehydration, respiratory distress, or any alarming condition warrant immediate attention. Carry a small first aid kit with basic medications for common ailments such as headaches, fever, and an upset stomach. Next off, we have adjust your diet. Now, opt for light and easily digestible meals. Okay, the toilet is not always advisable. Soups and broths and fruits can be gentle on the stomach and provide essential nutrients. Avoid consuming excessive alcohol and caffeine as they can thoroughly dehydrate your body and your system. Next, we have notify travel companions. Now, keep your travel companions informed about your health conditions. This ensures that they are aware of your limitations and can always provide assistance if needed. Discuss your potential changes to the itinerary and be open to adjustments that accommodate your well-being. These are all fantastic ways to make sure you are caring for your not so up to itself when you're out and about in the world. But we're gonna go in a very short break and when we come back, I will be right here to give you even more tips to make sure you get yourself back up to strength while sick during a trip. Don't go anywhere. And we are back. You are still tuned on to Travel Essentials right here on Conga TV. Before the break, I gave you a rundown of five solid ways to make sure you're alleviating the issues that come with being sick during travel. And so 
Let's continue as I share with you some more. Let's go. Next up, we have stay warm and comfortable. Pack a warm scarf or a jacket to keep yourself comfortable, especially if you have a cold or a flu. Make sure you dress appropriately for the weather and create a cozy environment in your accommodation to promote a speedy recovery. Next, we have insurance and documentation. Now, this might not be physical, but it surely is beneficial. Check your travel insurance coverage to understand the extent of your medical benefits. Keep important medical documents such as prescriptions and health insurance details easily accessible, especially if you have allergies and the likes of. Next, we have know your local pharmacies. Now, wherever you go in the world, familiarize yourself with the local pharmacies in the area. Pharmacists are very great help and can provide OTC medications and remedies and can advise on managing very common illnesses. Be sure to also carry a list of generic names for any and every prescribed medication you have to facilitate communication with healthcare professionals. Next, we have stay informed on local customs. Now, be sure to be aware and informed of local customs and practices regarding health and illnesses as these are very important. Some cultures may have some specific etiquettes or beliefs regarding sickness, so it's very important for you to be aware of what they are to prevent any further confusion during your travel. Next up, we have plan for contingencies. Very important. Now prepare for the possibility of falling ill before your trip by packing a small medical kit with essentials. Make sure you have a plan in place for any and every emergency, including the location of the nearest hospital or medical facility. And with that, we have come to the end of this very educative and very protective episode of Travel Essentials. Now I know, being sick during your trip is honestly one of the worst things to happen, as there are one too many things that will need readjusting when this happens. But it doesn't mean that the entire trip has to go right into the gutter. If these adequate measures are taken, you can be right back into tip-top shape before the entire trip is over, or at least semi. <laughs> While falling sick during a trip can be very disheartening, proactive steps and a positive mindset can help you navigate the situation very effectively. So be sure to prioritize your self-care, seek necessary medical attention, and be open to adjustments in your travel plans in any and every way. With the right approach, you can turn an unexpected health setback into an opportunity for resilience and cultural insight. Of course, my name remains Kachi, aka Keiko, and be sure to tune in next time for another great episode of Travel Essentials. Until then, bye for now. Bye.